Hey guys, Kidding with Ugly 10. I thought I'd try something new with a monthly gear subscription challenge. I'm challenging myself and I'm challenging you. If you want to try this, give it a shot. If you got a channel, post the video, let us know how it goes. So I've been researching, so I've been researching the monthly gear subscriptions. And I noticed a lot of it is uh, swag. A lot of it's pretty much um, the, uh, the companies promoting themselves. And for the average price of $25, $24.99 plus shipping and handling, I thought I could do a lot better for myself. I'll give an example, the battle box is $24.99 plus shipping and handling, includes four to seven pieces, manual, EDC gear, tactical and survival. Prepper box, 25 plus shipping and handling, two, three pieces of gear, manuals and tips. Survival boxes, uh, I think the Smallest one they had was forty dollars plus shipping and handling. Two to eight survival items uh, plus food. Attack box, Siri mini, Siri box mini. Um, all these survival boxes or survival gear subscriptions, I figured I could do uh, better myself uh, for myself. Now, if you like getting these in the mail and this is what you want to do, then I say go for it. Whatever makes you happy. So let's talk about the budget. I budgeted myself twenty five dollars per month. Um, and plus $10 shipping and handling if I order something online. I want to try to stay within that $25 budget. And I want to try to shop local. I think it's very important that we continue to shop local. Sometimes you have to go to the big box stores. Um, and even though you're supporting corporate America, you're also helping the local people who have jobs with corporate America. So I'm going to try my best to do uh, local shopping and keep from going online to get this stuff. The other thing is uh, do it yourself gear. You know, the other thing, if you want to make your own gear, a uh, $25 goes a long ways for material if you're making your own gear. So I encourage you to do that, make your own gear. But let me show you what I got in this box today. First, let's start with the big box stores. Now remember, this is all under my budget. Now this month's budget, I was at $35 because this is the first month I did it. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. So para, uh, paracord, 50 feet of paracord. I like buying 50 feet because I like to switch out the colors. Uh, one, I'll buy black, I'll buy green, gray. I like to switch it up. So 50 feet lasts me quite a while. And that's from big box stores. Another big box store purchase is a collapsible cup. Lightweight, uh, versatile. I'm gonna try these out and see how they do. And next is a different big box door than this one. So I went to two, two, went to two big box stores, and I've got the Weber lighter cubes. And these are used to help start your grill, your fire, whatever. These are a great hack for the Esbit stove. These little cubes, you get 24 of them, and it was under $5 at my box store. Um, they're just exactly like the Esbit stove alcohol. Now they do burn a little faster, they don't burn as hot, and they leave more, it's a, it's a more of a paraffin, they leave like a little residue as opposed to the Esbit stove, the alcohol burns a little cleaner. But for the price, it's very comparable. Now let's go on to the uh, military surplus store, my local store. I got a really good deal on the MRE because it's a vegetarian, but if you just use pieces from it, you don't use the whole meal if you just want to take a piece, uh, whether a cracker or the dessert, whatever, take it with you. It's these are nice to have laying around. And next, I got a small pouch. I love pouches to go on the outside of my uh, backpacks or my belt, whatever. This has the Molly attachments. It's black, Velcro. Uh, it's got the little uh, grommet for the weep hole. You know, for the price I paid for this. I couldn't have made it. So there's that. Now on to the greatest part of the, of the uh, gearbox. This is my big find. And this is something else too. You know, half the fun of, of this gearbox is uh, shopping for it. You know, I'm not a shopper. I don't like to go to malls. I don't like all that crap. But I do love looking for gear. And I found at the local Army Navy store a Maxpedition dump pouch. 
There it is. Oh, it's the Max Edition Mini Roly Poly. Get a look at that. That's right. I'm excited about this sucker. It does not have the strap. I looked online, and this is the only thing missing from this was the leg strap. But I would never use the leg strap anyway. I put this on the outside of my backpack, or if I put it on my belt, whatever, I'm not going to use the leg strap. So that's just minor. But for the price I paid for it, uh, I got a steal. I'm really, really happy with it. So all that, get my mini roly poly, my pouch, my MRE, my Esbit stove cubes, paracord, and a class cup. All under $35. I've really enjoyed this process and I think you would too. Uh, next month I'm going to have a focus or a subject and it's going to be land navigation. Now land navigation is not something I buy a lot of gear for so this is going to be really interesting. But So next month at the end of July, beginning of August, somewhere around there, we'll do another gear review on the Gearbox, my Ugly Tent Gearbox subscription and see how it turns out. So thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And we'll see you next time.